Let's explore another powerful spreadsheet feature, the formula. We'll continue using the data we used in the previous video. Again, we'll demo using Google Sheets, but all of this can be done using other spreadsheet software. If we made $16 per hour, we can quickly determine how much we made each of these months. Let's start by making another column title up here. Let's call it Wages. And we can bold and color it so it matches the other titles. For January, we worked 35 hours. So to determine how much we made that month, we would just multiply 35 times 16. But how would we do this in a spreadsheet? In cell C2, let's put our formula. We'll start the formula with an equal sign to tell the spreadsheet software that this is a formula. To determine the wages for January, we'll take the hours, or cell B2. Now we can type B2 into the formula, or we can select it. And now we need to times it by 16. So we can use the star symbol for a times, shift 8, and 16. And when we hit enter, we see that we made $560 in January. Now here's a really good spreadsheet trick. Let's select this cell with our new formula, right click, copy, and now let's paste it into all of the cells for the rest of the month. Right click, paste. Now we have the total wages for all of our months. And if we click on the wages for February, we see that the formula automatically changed the equation to use the hours from February. It calculated using the 32 hours from cell B3. Watch this. What if we realize that we made a mistake and actually did some extra time in December? We should have put 40 hours. See how the wage is suddenly updated? If you update that cell, then the calculation updates. One last thing to add here. If we wanted to know the total wages earned for the year, let's make a total title down here. And now for our equation, again, we start with an equal sign to indicate that we have a formula here. We want to add up all the monthly wages. We could say C2 plus C3 plus C4 and carry that on, or we could use the sum function. Remember, sum means adding up. So, equals sum, and then we put some left brackets here, and then we can select all of the wage cells, and hit enter, and we have our total. Pretty easy, right? Now, here's the real power. Watch this. If we change one of the month's hours, say we were wondering how taking a break in March that is not working at all in March might impact our yearly income. So let's put a zero in for March. See how the March wages drop to zero? And then we notice that the yearly total drops as well. So we can experiment all we want and everything will update around us. What if we increased our hours during the summer? A hundred hours in July and a hundred hours in August. And yes, that makes for a nice wage during those months and it really increases our yearly total. In this tutorial, we learned how to add a formula to a spreadsheet. We learned that formulas always start with an equal sign. Also, we found that we can copy and paste our formulas. The formulas do calculations and allow us to experiment by adjusting values and seeing how they impact our overall outcome.